Hello YouTube, it's me again, Iron Bloke, and welcome to another figure episode. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Reaction Aliens, Alien series, thing in the back. So, from left to right we have the new Alien Metallic Skin, Ripley in Spacesuit, Kane with Chestburster, and last but not least, Kane with Facehugger. So, let's take a look at the packaging of one of these bad boys before we open them up and compare them to the Wave 1 figures because most of Wave 2 are figures we got in Wave 1 just different. So, as you can see here, we're going to take a first look at the Metallic Flesh Alien. I really like the packaging on this. The photo they've used for the alien is in one of the very last scenes of the film when the alien gets shot through the chest by Ripley's spear gun think. The figure, unless you don't know, is taken from 1979 moulds of toys that were never made. Uh, Reaction got the license to continue them once they were found and has kind of expanded on the range. Now, don't quote me on this, but I'm fairly sure that Wave 1 were the original moulds and they've now decided to make more. So, anything of interest on the front? Well, considering these were originally going to be toys for kids, it's kind of ironic. I'll turn it like that, you might be able to see. Oh, there, there you go. It says at the very top up here, adult collectible, not a toy. Kind of ironic in my opinion. Let's have a look at the back. So these are made by Funko Super 7. And as you can see, all of the figures there you can collect, so the Ripley, the Alien, and the two Canes. And uh, you've also got this fairly generic photo of the uh, Alien, I think that's from one of the promotional shots. This is going to be the fun bit, opening it on camera, because the screen, to check uh, how it looks, is behind me. Oh, what joy. So I'm just going to do my absolute best. Uh, I always feel kind of bad opening figures because I always feel like someone somewhere is crying over this ah don't need you anymore daddy and tada so here we are the figure is has has six points of articulation. You've got one pick up at the shoulder here. Standard leg doodars. So that's two, four, and if I'm not mistaken, oh, I might be mistaken. The head doesn't move on this one, but the, I know the tail twists. So you got five points of articulation. Um, the figure, as you can just see there. You can take off the dome, and ah, there you go. Ah, scary! Oh, it's gonna get you. Now, the only thing I do have a problem with these little figures is, is just like before I started recording, this top bit went like that, and I had to dig around the back of the uh, desk to find it, which is always good. I don't know. They could almost be twins. Maybe it's because they're the exact same figure, except obviously as you can see, this one's more black, this one's more grey, you can see through the dome and the white on that one, and you can't on that one. And then again from the side, it almost looks like they're going to kiss. Moving swiftly on. From now on I don't think I'll film me opening the packaging, because I don't want to show off how much of a clumsy oaf I am. But I will show you the beautiful pictures on the boxes because the first bite is with the eye. And here we've got another promotional picture of uh, Ripley played by uh, Sigourney Weaver in her spacesuit. Now isn't that beautiful children? Here she is, wonderful Ellen. And similar to the alien she has five points of articulation and a piece you can drop and lose forever. Namely, the helmet. Uh, five bits of articulation are pretty much standard from now on so you've got oh very stiff stiff arm hello how'd you do um legs and 
Erg. Head. So on the left we have the Wave 1 Kane. In the middle are Ripley. And on the right are Wave 1 Ripley without this clunky spacesuit. And she has since lost all her accessories. You're probably wondering why have I got these Wave 1s out here. Well I thought it would be quite obvious to be honest. They are pretty much the same except this one here is missing the light. Which is film accurate because the helmet in the film that Ripley wore was Lambert's helmet painted white. And if I... Oh, hello, didn't even have to pick up the figure to take off the helmet. You can see the faces. Now, I don't know whether this will reflect over all the figures, but if you look at her, she doesn't appear to have any face paint. They've just painted on eyes. Whereas you can clearly see on this one, let's see if I bring it in. Yeah, you can see that it's painted. So, I feel that these are a little bit cheaper in, in quality, but they're still really nice. If you're fed up with the jump cuts, then tough, because I can't speak properly. Here we have the cane with chest burster. And again, we've got a quite nice shot there of the uh, chest burster coming out. I'm quite surprised, frankly, they were able to use this photo on that background being so visceral because you know what these namby pamby governments are like banning things with even something that vaguely looks like blood doesn't stop people from uh, watching these films at a young age for example i first saw alien when i was two so there is kane bursted out of his packet onto the screen in front of you and uh, the same with ripley five points of articulation very stiff though. Uh, uh. Legs. Oh, arms. Oh, he's very muscly. And head. Do you know what? Let's see if I can bring him closer. I've never seen such a peaceful chest bursting in all my life. There's always one that won't stand by itself. Here is the cane with face hugger. And again, a very standard promotional picture in the background of the face hugger making love to him. Aww. Blimey, I think this face hugger is drunk. I won't go through the articulation because he's the exact same as the other cane. Although, let's have a quick look at a couple of little bits. First of all, the little face hugger. You notice, though, it doesn't have a real face hugger interior because it's a vagina. And I don't think they'd be allowed to sell that as a toy. Apart from that though, it looks very nice. Tail isn't quite quite long enough in my opinion. And Kane himself. Or an Auton pretending to be Kane. Now this isn't a problem just with this figure. It's also with the other Kane and the Kane from Wave 1. They don't actually look like, uh, is it John Hurt? I can't remember really. And there you have all the canes you could ever want in your life. It is quite cool that they have provided us with three different canes of three different incarnations of his time aboard the Nostromo. And here we have every single reaction alien figure ever made. So you can see we've got the Wave 1 Ripley, the Wave 2 Kane, the Wave 1 Alien, the Wave 1 Kane, the Wave 2 Alien, the Wave 2 Ripley, the Wave 1 Ash, the Wave 1 Dallas, and the Wave 2 Kane. Now, I do feel that the plastic is much, much worse quality on the new reaction figures to the old ones. Doesn't affect the overall figure too bad, but when you're moving the joints, you can definitely feel that there's less je ne sais quoi, shall we say. Do you know what? Someone with much more skill and quality than me could probably do a pretty good representation of the movie Alien just using these figures and a, a scratch-built set. Ooh. Mother's woken us because she's found a strange signal. La 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 la. How come you guys don't freeze him? <laughs> oh, cat! Hmm, I thought there was an alien around here. I'm gonna set the ship to self-destruct! Mother! I turned the calling unit back on! Mother! Ah, 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 lucky star! This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. 
signing off. At least I'll never see that thing again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out other figure reviews that I've done. There'll be links down below. And uh, this has been Iron Bloke, and until the next time, see you then.